Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. This is kind of an experiment that I wanted to try since I have a lot of leftover scrap wood that I didn't know what to do with. Now I've drawn out several options for a modern style privacy wall that will attach to the backyard deck. After a few revisions of the design, I had more than enough 2x4s to make this work. But I did have to buy a 4x4 post and metal straps, angles, big lag screws as a way to attach the wall to the deck. So let's get this started. So I started off with building the frame. The dimensions are 12 feet by 6 feet tall. 12 feet is the width of the deck. And one side of the wall will attach to the house directly. Now that the frame is constructed, I want to add strength to the structure by attaching these metal straps for where each piece connects and I will also attach these corner straps in every corner for extra stability. Since this is not finished wood material, I did go down and sand down any rough edges using an electric sander to make things nice and smooth. Now it's time to make the sideboards. What I did was I measured the distance between each post, which was around 3 feet, and I prep cut a lot of 2x4s to match the size. But since 2x4s are too thick, they're actually uh, an inch and a half by 3 and a half inch. I cut them in half and in half again, which makes one and a half by three quarters inch. And this can be easily done with a table saw. So here's what they look like when they are cut. So this process was very time consuming, so I'm not going to show you the whole clip, just a brief time lapse of a few boards that I cut. All of the boards are cut out, so I laid everything out on the floor to get a better visualization and to make sure of the proper fitment before painting and staining. Once we were ready to paint, we decided to go with an espresso black paint for the frame and then a beige crema stain for the sideboards. All you professional painters out there are probably looking at me thinking, what is he doing? Yeah, bear with me, it's my first time painting anything, but it turned out pretty well, actually. Now that everything is painted, I gotta let it dry and then get ready to attach the boards. I did notice that some of these boards began to sort of twist and warp because these are not finished, uh, they're not pressure treated or anything. So this is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is, so we'll see how it turns out when it's done. So I ended up using low profile screws to attach the sideboards to the frame itself. Since there were so many pieces that need to be attached, it just took a very long time to get done. I also had to pre-drill everything to make sure there's no cracks or splits. I didn't want this thing to break before I even put it up, so... With my neighbor's help, I had a very, very small window to get this thing installed, so I unfortunately did not have the camera rolling. Here you can see we used long zinc lag screws to attach the wall to the side of the house. Also use these metal L angles to attach each post to the top of the deck using zinc screws also. Oh, this spot I actually broke one of the screws when I over tightened it, so I had to drill a new hole and install a, a new lag screw. But it turned out good. Then there's this metal strap. It attaches to the post and to the side of the deck as well, giving it extra support. This right here was a last minute decision. We added a 2x6 
that attach to the, the 4x4 and attach to the side of the deck and to the wall. By adding this 2x6 it made the wall a lot more solid and very very structurally stronger. It can get very windy in this area where I live, I just want to make sure this wall is as solid as possible with no movement. Also once I put up my railing it will attach to the side of the wall which will give me further strength and support. But I will show that in a different video. So that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think it turned out pretty nice. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.